talking about the difference between a Florida banded water snake and a cottonmouth um, water moccasin. Alright, um, so down here in South Florida we get a lot of questions on which is which. People have them in their backyard and they want to know is this a cottonmouth uh, moccasin that is swimming in my pool or is just in the backyard in the lake. Um, so the first difference that I want to talk about is the head. Now, on a Florida banded water snake, the one that I'm holding here, as you can see, the neck gets narrow towards the head, but the head is, um, is about the same size as the neck. A little bit bigger, but it's about the same size. Now, um, here. Now, on a cotton mouth, as you can see, the neck is very narrow, and the head is about twice as big as the neck. So it's a big difference. It's more of a triangle shape. See, as a banded water snake, it's more of, I like to say, an oval shape, and it's relevant, um, about the same size. Um, the second difference is, you shouldn't judge a snake on its color, but most of the time, a cottonmouth is going to be a lot darker than the Florida banded water snakes. Um, but you should, really shouldn't judge it on its color, because it could come in all different colors depending on the region and where you find it. The eyes. On a banded water snake, as you can see, the eyes are round, like ours. They have pupils, round pupils like ours. On a cottonmouth, the eyes are what they call, um, are what they call elliptical eyes. They're more of what you see in the movies with those evil snake eyes, I like to call them. Also, the moccasins are in the pit viper family. So they have little pits right before their nose. These guys don't have them because they're not venomous and they're not in the pit viper family. All snakes can sense heat, but on the pit viper family, the pits are an extra way to sense heat, and those are very obvious on the face. Now, you don't want to get too close and make sure of that, so you really want to focus on the head, or if you're not sure, don't go near it at all. Um, the, one of the last things I like to do is on the, um, on the water snakes, you can see the little, um, the little slit. So on the water snakes, the slit, these scales turn into, um, the two tinier scales. They don't continue as these scales. On the moccasins, they continue as the same scales and do not turn into two split scales like this. So, but honestly, if you're, if you're that close to a water moccasin to tell that, um, then by then you're probably going to already be bit unless it's dead. So you really shouldn't get too close to a water moccasin. And if you're not sure, again, please do not go near it. Again, this is a very important part of our ecosystem. They do eat non-native fish, but a main part of their diet here in South Florida, such as the West, and they do like to eat rats and mice too. So please do not kill them. They're very important, and overall, they're a great pet to have if it's a banded water snake. If it's a cotton mouth, I suggest not having it as a pet, because that would just be a little odd. Again, I'm Ethan. Please make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel, and share.